Hello everyone, today we are comparing two airbrushes. It's a harder and Steenbeck Ultra and cheap no-name airbrush. So first one is a harder and Steenbeck Ultra, cheapest airbrush from a harder and Steenbeck. Airbrush comes in protective case and has quick release attachment. So it is entry-level airbrush for beginners and it costs about $80. As you can see, airbrush is very simple. There is no additional settings or controls over it. So airbrush is nicely made. It has some quality feel to it. But I have this airbrush for about 2 months and chrome plating starts to come off. So question is is it any better than cheap airbrush? This one is cheap airbrush from China. It has no brand name and it costs only $12. Also it has airflow control setting, needle control setting and quick needle release. There is also lid on color cup and some people say that those are very loose on cheap airbrushes but in this one it holds pretty tight. Also trigger feels a bit like in Harder and Steamback Ultra. For sure it's not so smooth, but not a big difference there. Also metal finish has a bit lower quality. So before I start testing airbrushes, I want to explain you why this one is so cheap. So every airbrush has three components that you need to pay attention at. It's needle, nozzle and air cap. So please imagine that you are looking at front of airbrush and that red dot is needle from the front. That black spot is nozzle around. This is how it looks in good quality airbrush. But in cheap Chinese airbrushes, needle is bad quality. It is not polished correctly or sometimes even bent. So this is how it will look from the front if needle is not polished correctly. So when you are not pulling trigger, there should be a perfect seal between needle and nozzle. In this situation, needle is polished badly and liquid can escape. This will affect your sprain pattern. And this is how it looks if needle is badly polished and nozzle is cracked or damaged. This is even worse. For a needle and nozzle combination to work, air cap is necessary. And make sure air cap is not damaged or clogged in your airbrush. So I'm not saying that a rich needs airbrush has bad needle or nozzle. I'm saying that because it tends to happen a little bit more often in a cheap genie's airbrushes. I'll be testing airbrushes and making dots, lines and shading. So basically everything you need for beginner modeler or airbrush artist. So this one is cheap airbrush. I think only downside of this airbrush was a trigger. From the beginning it was a little bit hard to control it, but when I get used to it, it was easy to spray thin and thick lines, make shading and transitions. Also both tested airbrushes has the same needle and nozzle size 0.2 and I'm spraying with 20 psi.
Next airbrush and test is Harder and Steambag Ultra. And because of a little bit better trigger, it is easier to make different intensities and in color. So both airbrushes perform very similar. For the beginner airbrush artist or modeler, there is no big reason for getting this one instead of that Chinese airbrush. So paint atomization in cheap airbrush and this one is basically the same, there is no big difference in spray patterns. Also for the conclusion I want to say that for the cheap airbrush you will pay less for the replacement parts and that's something for consider. For harder and thin back parts you will pay about 5 times more. Sure it's a good quality airbrush overall, but it's not so much better than that cheap one. Sure if I had evolution or infinity there will be a much bigger difference, but for now tested airbrushes are very similar. So it's up to you what airbrush you will get, cheap one or more expensive, but please don't forget that most important tool is your hands and learn to use it wisely. Thank you for watching and see you soon in my next videos.